Hey, it's Shanna. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making the sweetest little open heart ring. If you want a video to make something beautiful and easy and have this ready to wear today, this is the one. So stay tuned and I will show you how to make it look super professional and it's just adorable. Well, hey there, the tools that you need to make this little open heart ring are some wire. We're gonna use 18 gauge wire. You can use any color. I find 16 gauge to be too thick and 20 gauge to be too skinny for this ring. You need a ruler, you need a ring mandrel, you need a hammer and a rubber, rubber mallet. Flush cutters, chain nose pliers and needle nose pliers. Now let's get started. I would like you to cut a five inch piece of wire to get started here. I'm just gonna measure. And then I want you to bend one end over about one and a half inches. So take your chain nose pliers and just hold it at one and a half inches and bend it straight down and then I want you to push the ends together. Just like so. Now I want you to get your needle nose pliers and hold on to the tip of that. This is where we're gonna create our heart. So we wanna keep it pretty small. Maybe not that little, but maybe not that big. I, I use it right in the middle. And I don't want that to extend above our tool there because that's gonna make a really weird heart. And if you hold it too low, it's just gonna pop off the end there. So get a good grip on it and bend those wires around the tool. You're not using your tool for anything but holding it in place. So look, it's made a nice little heart right around our tool. If you keep your needle nose pliers right in place there and bend your smaller piece up over so it overlaps the other side of that heart, that gives us a place um, to wrap it around. And then take your flush cutters and just cut it right at the end there. Leave enough space on that wire so we can bend it down. You want it to be all the way down on that heart so there's no gap. If you have a gap on your wire jewelry, it can get caught on your clothing, especially sweaters. You can ruin a good sweater. That's no fun. No fun at all. Okay, so this is going to be the top of our ring. And so I want to add a little bit of a hammered finish to it. I'm straightening this out here. I want to add a hammered finish. If you notice, the ring I'm wearing and the one I'm holding, the one on my finger has a little bit of a calligraphy look around the heart. It's hammered, so it gives a reflective shine, and it also adds quite a bit of strength. So in order to, to do that, I want you to remember this is the top of our ring, and we always place that side down on our steel block and then use your hammer and tap 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 I'm kind of using a back and forth motion over that curve and it's hard to see while I'm hammering but that's what I'm doing and that looks really good to me when you like the desired effect then move over to the other side always doing it face down hammer 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 Sweet. Okay, now it's time to wrap it on our ring mandrel. You've seen this before if you've looked at my videos. You don't need to have a groove for this particular ring. Okay, I want to make a size 5 ring. So I'm going to wrap it around this, the size 5. And I just want that to be snug around the size 5 so that I know exactly where I'm going to cut. I want to cut just prior to where I have wrapped 
here, allowing enough wire to wrap around the end of that heart. I'm going to trim that just a tiny bit more. That looks better. Okay. Now I just want to lift this end up. See that? Lift it up. Slide the end of your heart over the top of that wire. Take your needle nose pliers and bend that straight down. Okay, all we need to do at this point is put it back on our mandrel and use our rubber mallet just to shape the ring around the mandrel. When we were wanting a size five, we ended up slightly short of a size five. It's about four and three quarters. So I should have allowed just a tiny bit more length on that wire at the end. This is something you'll get the hang of as you're making more of these. But I think it'll still work for a super cute pinky ring. It's already had another one on there. But it works very nicely. Too cute, right? So hammer those heart curves and it's going to give you a more professional design. It's going to add strength and shine. Your friends are going to love you. Make one in every color. And I can't wait to show you what I'm going to do next. Subscribe to my channel to be notified of future videos. And we'll see you next time.